say to you all a massive, massive thank you for all of your incredible support. Now, as you may or may not be aware, I've been on vacation for two weeks and I've had the most incredible time of my entire life with my fantastic partner and now fiance, Hans Muller. Um, it was absolutely wonderful. Hans is also a cactus and succulent fanatic like myself, so we had the most incredible two weeks together. And um, there's a link up above to Hans's YouTube channel, if you're not familiar. He has some wonderful videos on there as well, so please do check him out and subscribe. And I'm pleased to say I'm back now. <laughs> and um, just to let you know, I want to thank you all so much for your incredible comments. Obviously, I went on YouTube today and there's about 500 comments on all of my, my recent and past videos and it'd just be impossible for me to reply to them, but obviously because of time. So um, please let you know, I'm going to be starting back from today and I do read every single one and thank you all a million times over for all of your support and your incredible, incredible comments. And I'm pleased to say I've got to start off by showing you, this is my Graptopetalum succulent plant that's very, very similar to an Echeveria, but it isn't an Echeveria. It is related, as you can see, it has the rosette-shaped rosette leaves, very similar. And it is in the most remarkable of flowers today. And um, I'll show you this one. I'll just go slow just to get the macro on it. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see it. This, um, the beautiful flowers have gorgeous uh, red dots going all around them. And what's amazing about this plant is that when the flowers first opened, there was about three red dots, and then four, and then five, and now there's red dots going all the way around it. Now this is another flower here that recently opened, and um, it's got no red dots on it, so I'm going to be keeping an eye on it in the next few days to see if the red dots appear. But if they don't, that makes it even more sort of unusual. But the, the flower is absolutely beautiful, beautiful star-like shaped uh, petals and gorgeous ready orange coral in the middle and the beautiful red dots going all around on, on the one flower. It's absolutely breathtaking. Lots more buds on the way as well, so it's absolutely spectacular. And it's a gorgeous, as you know, lovely rosette. Now, some people cut these plants back and then they repropagate them from the top because they grow straggly. Personally, myself, I like to leave them growing natural where they sort of all hang down like that and they make lovely hanging baskets and I have them growing around the side of the pot. This is my other Graptopetalum as well. That's also in bud, so that's really exciting. And um, they nicknamed this plant the ghost plant because of its lovely appearance, like a ghosty sort of silvery um, colour to it. Absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to share the beauty with you all. Isn't that gorgeous? The beautiful, 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 beautiful flowers. And I love the way they sort of grow on little stalks coming out as well. So there you go everybody, so thank you all again so much and I'm back to normal now on YouTube. So um, uh, me and Hans had a fantastic day out in uh, Belfast. We went to the Belfast Botanic Gardens and we were invited back stage to the, um, the secret greenhouse where they propagate the cacti and succulents and um, watch out for a special video with special footage on there of us doing a tour around the, the uh, cactus and succulent collection. It was absolutely remarkable so I'll be getting that video uploaded and made and uploaded in the next few days. So I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus and succulent power as always from Ireland. And until the next video, guys, bye.